It's reciprocating. Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs>
All right, tapping back in. We're almost at the end of this box. So uh, I think she's starting to choke up and we'll start talking about her. All right, I'm gonna shoulder her and lean into it. Just see if that's what's causing it. No. All right, so we're gonna put some lube on it. Luckily, last weekend I was hanging out with a good friend, Heck Gun Butter, and he put some of this in my truck. So, all right, so we've completely taken her apart and re, like, I mean, I wiped all the old stuff out, the chamber inside the barrel, I re-lubed all the guide rails, it looks spick and span inside there. It feels a lot better. See if she works. Boys, I think she's cooked. <laughs> I think uh, she's a 500 round gun. Um, Cause this thing is spotless. I've come up with a new name now that this video is coming to an end. It's called the Scar Super Heavy, okay? Because it's obviously a 12 gauge, it fires 12 gauge slugs, so Scar H, this has your name on it. It's coming to take your spot. The cool thing about this is sub $500, sub 500 rounds, okay? Not bad, especially if you caught it. Like I said, I Googled it, Halloween sale, $299. Um, that's like 75 cents a round, if I do quick math. This was fun, kinda, this was, this was fun. Where I think the other Turkish shotguns shine is that they are already based on a proven system. The Italians over at Benelli really made a solid combat shotgun, one of the best semi-automatic combat shotguns ever. This does not use that mechanism, so probably very few of these guns that someone bought for $299 sees this kind of abuse. Very few people are probably even putting more than three boxes a year on these guns. So <laughs> I'm assuming a lot of these will be purchased by all, all my um, all my homegrown rednecks up in the woods, mag dumping trash, and still get handed down to their kids working because that's how many rounds are probably on these things. Um, yeah, it's a range toy. Fake scar stock. You do have an adjustable cheek riser, all right? No, no adjustable length of pull, nothing like that. The grip, not, not, not a terribly big fan. Maybe just because I fired 500 rounds in one day, but uh, overall. There it is, Turkish shotguns. Uh, in my last Turkish shotgun video, everybody kept saying, it wouldn't survive more than 700 rounds and this and that, and I was like, yeah, right. Well, you're right, congratulations. So for the record, the slugs that I'm about to send on target are Spear Lawman rifled slugs. Uh, I don't know, I think Spear makes fantastic ammo, so I'm sure this is a perfect indication on how the gun's doing and not the ammo. Color me surprised. Um, holy smokes. One, two, three, four, five. Don't get me wrong, we're at about what, Dan? This is probably like 25 yards. Yeah. This is like 25 yards, so it's gonna open up at 100, but honestly, uh, you know, for it being a, a cheap, cheaper shotgun, those rifled slugs, that's good. Why would anybody spend uh, money on a real scar? Um, I, I definitely thought after cleaning it that would solve the issue. I think a lot of the issues might come down to these mags. By the end of the day, they uh, had been, you know, dropped in the sand and thrown on the table, dropped off the table a couple of times, and it seems like, uh, you know, these mags weren't really made for, for heavy abuse, that's for sure. Heavy abuse being dropped once, so. Overall, you know what, guys, if you just want to look like you have a scar in your in your gun collection, and um, if you play Fortnite, and, and this reminds you of your Fortnite scar, then $299 or $400 MSRP. That's crazy. I mean, that's a cheap gun. That's a very, very cheap gun. Um, cool, so I think we'll be doing a $5,000 gun in the next video. Thanks, guys. And to make it even worse, the range that we shoot at out here, we have to pick up our brass and our shells, and so 
double whatever I shot because I have to pick up the shells and the wads downrange, um, which is going to take forever, which is a great reason why we have a mid-roll sponsor like TacPack. Guys, I want to give a big thank you to TacPack for sponsoring this video. You've seen TacPack on the channel before, guys. Every month, they ship a box to your doorstep, including brands like Battle Arms Development, Nine Line Apparel, Reptilia, 511 Tactical. TacPack has two main tiers. New subscribers, you guys can use my coupon code SHEESH to get an extra free box worth of tactical gear for at least $60. So use that coupon code, guys. Get that free box and say thank you to TacPack for supporting this content. Love you guys and love you, TacPack. So a couple other interesting things and notes it, and a note is this did start walking loose on us uh, you can kind of see the threads starting to come out um, I did not loosen that that's for sure um, let's, oh yeah yeah she's moving so but guys honestly I'm not even gonna lie here like if you're buying this I think this shotgun fits a perfect roll um, nobody at least I hope that none of you guys are buying $200 shotguns and expecting them to be Genesis Arms Gen 12s. Cheap magazine fed shotguns have been around for a long time and I don't think you should be buying them with high hopes. Anyway, this is something for you to go have fun with. I called one of the guns uh, a, a range toy or a, a toy and somebody got really mad because like, it's not a toy, it's a gun that can actually kill someone. This old girl's had enough today. Oh!